Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, I have some personal updates, especially two critical personal updates that I wish to share with you. And there is something very interesting that I will tell you. Hopefully it will be new learning for all of you as well. So let's kick start. And the two personal developments are that number one, I'm a registered investment advisor in Middle East now. That's one. Second is that I've been able to set up two companies here in the Middle East. So natural questions come, Ki achha, you know, why are you setting up companies in the Middle East? Are you leaving India? What is the situation? Can that benefit you? If you're looking to move to UAE or if you're looking to move outside India, what are some steps that you can take? All that conversation in a very honest language I'm going to have with you, right? A very important note to the trolls first and foremost because video videos are the first thing that you know what, there are massive growth opportunities in India. Why are you not sticking in India? Is India not your home anymore? So, two things are I'll just quickly say that. Number one, Goa is my home. That is where I will mostly stay. Okay, so it's not as if that I'm leaving India. Goa is my home. Number two, I have few businesses in India. The money I make from those businesses, the tax will still be paid in India. For example, all the Airbnbs that I own in India, the money that comes from it, by default, I'll have to pay that in India. And I want to pay it in India. Third key point is that, see guys, I mean, I went to INSEAD even before coming to the YouTube. I had stayed, lived, worked abroad. I was in Singapore. It's not as if that I have suddenly made a knee-jerk reaction, you know what, I will set up businesses outside India, all that stuff, nothing. I've experienced life outside India. I have compared it, what is happening in India currently. And according to me, the decisions that I'm making now, it's good for me and my family. So I'll give you more clarity around that. And more importantly, I will explain whether undertaking a similar decision for you, would it make sense or not, right? So just take it as my personal experiences. This is not a push that you should also do the same, not do the same, all that stuff. This step was right for me, therefore I have taken and so please watch it in that spirit because this way of transparent information you will not find elsewhere, right? So that is the spirit with which I am shooting the video. So let's start. So question number one comes that, okay, why is it that I am setting up businesses in the Middle East? So natural thing is number one, that the taxes are low, right? So I will not belabor this point that yes, of course, taxes are low. It's always like nice to pay low taxes, no doubt about that. That is one of the primary reasons why a lot of businesses get attracted to the Middle East especially Dubai. So that is definitely a factor, not lying about that, right? Second key point, and this is more important for me, is the ease of doing business. So for me, when I set up a couple of businesses here, the process was really fast. I could do that in less than a month, right? So that was very easy for me to get all the registration regulations, adhere to that, set up my bank account, all that stuff. That was very, very easy for me to do. So there is really like ease of doing business. So that was number two. Number three has to do with operating tax. Operating tax, ki, for example, if you're operating a business in country X, for example, let's say in India, or if you're doing a job in India, so that is operating income. So jo operating income, operating income taxes jo in India, mein, that is really, really high, right? And, and unfortunately, that's the direction where we are heading and not much can be done, unfortunately, on that bit. So operating income tax is really high in India. So any active work that you're putting, for example, a you are going to office from like 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. at night. Wo to aapke puri din bar ke active hai. So whatever operating income you are making, that is getting eaten up, right? And unfortunately, we are not going in the right direction with it. So it pains my heart to say it, but that is how it is, right? So kuch khas kar nahi sakte. So if I had to make a decision to shift to a low operating tax country, then uh, basically UAE was a good option. So therefore, I picked that. Last and final point, and this is an extremely important professional point, it has to do with my nature of work. So for example, my nature of work is a full-time investment. So I invest on full-time basis. I need a lot of investors. A lot of investors are based in Dubai. Almost every single day, I have like four or five meetings with people who are like ultra rich, right? I get to learn a lot from them. So networking, networking wala point ho gaya. That is definitely a plus, no doubt about that. People really respect wealth from that angle. Uh, they are eager to share their knowledge. So what was a but more from my nature of work, I need to make investments, right? So for example, what I was noticing right now in India is that a lot of investment options are just getting killed, right? And 2024 budget was a trigger point for me, right? Uh, when capital gains was increased from 10% to 12.5%. Now see guys, if you talk numbers, right? Honestly, like effectively 2% of people are paying direct income tax in India. 98% of people have no difference, right? When people like me write on Twitter and all that, there is nothing that you can do. But honestly, if you think about it, the 2% people who are paying taxes, it's a lot of tax burden on them. And their investment options are getting killed, right? So how exactly? Let me explain by using a couple of examples. For example, I have been a proponent of Bitcoin. I invest in Bitcoin. 
uh, there was a lot of negativity related to Bitcoin, right? Since 2021, uh, Indian government made a lot of changes. This is not an attack on them, honestly. Like, you know, it's 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 every government's wish what they want to do, what type of ecosystem they want to foster. But to me, as a end user or an end investor in Bitcoin, it was almost impossible for me to buy Bitcoin in India in the sense that, for example, I've Khareed Sattva India with Bitcoin, no doubt about that. But the subtle change and the smart change that has been brought into the equation is that, see, when you're buying Bitcoin or any kind of cryptocurrency, you have to buy it through an exchange. Now, exchanges are regulated in India, right? For example, Lapta Coin, DCS, or you know, the world's exchange finance, ho gaya, everything is regulated in India. And unfortunately, the situation in India is that, okay, fine, you will buy like one lakh rupee of Bitcoin. Now, that Bitcoin is there on the exchange, right? So, with that broker that you're buying, right? Now, that Bitcoin is left there on their exchange. You cannot withdraw it to your hard wallet. Hard wallet looks something like this. It's like a pen drive. So, you can't withdraw it. So, technically, you're not using the right technique of buying Bitcoin. Now, the Indian government, unfortunately, is not doing anything. You know, exchange doob jai, doob jai, hamai ko responsibility nahi hai. But at the same time, we'll not let you withdraw money to your hard wallet. So there is no safe way of buying Bitcoin anymore in India, right, from that angle. But if you look at nations like UAE, if you look at Portugal, so all these have favorable laws. Again, I don't want to go there. It's every government's wish, what they wish to do. So for those professional reasons, I have decided to move some of my businesses to UAE, right? So this is the honest answer. You will see a lot of people in this video simply because it attracts a lot of hate, right? So, okay, so this brings us to question number two that, okay, I also want to do something similar. How easy is the process? What are some things that I should keep in mind? Can you talk about the setup, etc.? See, it's very really complicated, but let me just try to explain this complicated topic in like two, three minutes in very simple language. Number one thing is that I have personally met a lot of people in Dubai, right, who... From an education point of view, they were okay. They were good, right? Uh, decently educated. But they were having very good jobs. For example, I have personally met investors with net worth of like more than 5 million US dollars, right? Doing decent jobs and built their entire wealth through jobs here, right? Why is that and how is that possible? Um, and I these are like, you know, company CEOs or vagera vagera. No, so these are like, you know, uh, decent, hardworking, honest people uh, building like genuine wealth, um, yeah, and, and they have been able to do it. I, I actually, I'll tell you like a small story. So I work with a CA. So I met someone from his team. He was not even a CA, right? And he was working with the CA's office. It's India, maybe hota hai, right? And the person had built like decent amount of wealth, now looking to buy a house, vagera, vagera, cheese, making very good money, right? Why? Because the savings rate here is very high and that effectively plays out because the taxation structure is low when it comes to personal income taxes. So, uh, how does this all relate to? I will simplify it See, if you are looking to shift to Dubai or if you want to start a career in Dubai or eventually register a business in Dubai, then there are two categories of people who can do this, right? So, one is that you have no business setup experience. Abhi aapke baas sources of income khas hai nahi. You are only dependent on a job. Then for you, the easiest way of shifting to Dubai or shifting to UAE would be that you figure out a job here. Then, natural sawaar aata hai ki, meri ko India hota milta nahi hai job. Uh, Dubai See, my advice is not applicable to everyone. My advice is only applicable to people who are hardworking, who can grind out, figure out opportunities for themselves. Life is not easy. I cannot make it easy for you. I can just give you like honest take on things. So on that spirit, one tip that I can give you is that try to cultivate your network in Middle East. So LinkedIn pe bete bete message business ko kuch nahi hoga, right? It will not lead to any jobs. I have met people with very average kind of education who are able to secure jobs in Middle East if they work hard towards it, if they work hard in terms of cultivating a network. In case you guys want, I'll make a separate video on this. I'll invite like a few people from my network here, right? And who have figured out jobs in Dubai, who have been living here for the last 10, 15, 20 years and they can share some job search strategies. But the biggest job search strategy that I can give you for Dubai is very simple that you come here, right? You cultivate a network. Now, you can come here for events. So, there are a lot of special events that keep on happening in Dubai. I do not typically go to these events. Uh, but, you say, for example, tech conferences, hoti hai. there is like AI conferences, there is like marketing conferences, digital marketing conferences, dunia ki conferences. Hoti hai. That's a good way of figuring out touch points, right? So, I'm not saying that your network will be that uh, you know, kisi event and you will get a job. Mil no, that will not happen. But, but actually, what that allows you to do is very simple, that it allows you to at least establish a touch point with someone. These days, the issue is that everything is digital, ho chuka hai, right? Digital in the sense that you are on LinkedIn. 
विच इज फाइन देर इज नो हार्म इन लिंगन बट लिंगन के थ्रू आपको डायरेक्ट जॉब मिल जाएगा दैट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट किसी को आपने रिजमे भेज दिया आपको जॉब मिल जाएगा दैट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू नीड सम काइंड ऑफ इंटरनल कनेक्ट यू नीड टू कल्टिवेट अ रिलेशनशिप ओके सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू फिगर आउट इफ यू आर अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट इफ यू आर एट अ मास्टर्स लेवल बैचलर्स लेवल सो ट्राई टू फिगर आउट इंटर्नशिप हेयर दैट कैन रियली सॉर्ट यू आउट सो दैट इज वन वे ऑफ शिफ्टिंग टू दुबई इट इज फेयरली ईजी डिड आई टेक दिस पाथ नो आई डिड नॉट टेक दिस पाथ ओके For me, uh, the path that I chose was second. This was the business registration path. Now, in order to register businesses in Dubai, you need to understand the fact that the operating cost of the business is high. You have to hire a CA. You have to have a lawyer. You have to do registration. You have to maintain proper accounts. You have to follow all the registration process, etc., etc. These compliance costs takes a lot of. Now, how much money? It depends on the type of setup that you have. Which zone of registration do you choose? what type of company you are establishing so it depends on a under different things so i'll not get into that probably a separate video on that topic but wo ek option bhi hota hai ab bahut sare log excited ho jayenge ki yaar hamare dena delhi mein khadano ka business chalta hai right we want to settle in dubai nahi ja sakte right you need like white money to be honest honest tax money people can only settle in here it's not as if that aapke you know hotels chal rahe hain in india mein and you are like you know setting up businesses here it's very difficult to do i don't think that that is possible but you can speak with people and figure out i'm not the right person on that that's second option The third option that you have in terms of settling in Dubai is taking an investment route. For example, you might have already worked hard and about thought that yeah, you know what, that I want to go and live in Middle East. So you can take an investment route. So investment route means that, for example, just like your golden visa, you will get. Now, imagine that your passive income comes in. Now, passive income can be in the form of real estate investments. Passive income can be in the form of bond investments. So, that which is passive, you could figure out ways. to bring that money into your dubai account so to say so jaise aapko ghar dikh rahe honge right piche so for example if you just simply go and buy one of the houses and if the price of the house is 2 million dirhams then you can get a golden visa now by getting golden visa what you can do is that you can live in dubai for a substantial period of time and if you're living in dubai for more than 6 months plus you are living in india for less than 120 days then you become a tax resident of dubai अभी आपके लिए कैसे फायदेमंद है राइट सो नाउ डिपेंड्स राइट आई मीन व्हाट योर सोर्सेज ऑफ इनकम आर फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पैसिव इनकम सोर्सेज व्हिच यू कैन शिफ्ट टू दुबई सो उसमें आपको टैक्सिंग लगेगा सो दैट्स द बेनिफिट ऑफ शिफ्टिंग वाया द इन्वेस्टमेंट राउट टू दुबई राइट सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द ऑप्शन दैट यू कैन यूज इन ऑर्डर टू सेटल इन दुबई होपफुली आपको क्लैरिटी मिल गई होगी इन केस यू गाइज हैव एनी डाउट्स so put it in the comments i will try to answer to the best of my knowledge okay so then comes the next question ki acha tax free hai maybe lifestyle is better this that stuff so all good good things so what are the cons of shifting to dubai uae so the first con is the cost of living so the cost of living is substantially high so you need like a threshold amount right agar aapka business itna nahi hai ya aapko job nahi milti us tarike ki for example if you are making let's say hypothetically speaking 10 lakhs a year in india and here you come you start making like maybe 15 lakhs right so aapka डेल्टा कितना हुआ फाइव लैक्स टैक्स वैक्स अभी साइड में रख देते हैं तो फाइव लैक्स हुआ बट इन ऑर्डर टू लिव इन दुबई यू माइट हैव टू एक्सपेंस आउट अ लॉट मोर मनी सो रनिंग दैट मैथमेटिक्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू सैलरीज जो होती है दुबई में वो टिपिकली अच्छी होती है इफ इफ यू आर गेटिंग एनी वाइट फॉलर जॉब इफ यू आर वर्किंग एट मैनेजेरियन लेवल सो आपकी सैलरीज काफी अच्छी होंगी एंड मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली इट इज टैक्स फ्री सो दिस इज लाइक वन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट यू नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इन दुबई इज रियली हाई दिस इज Point one. Point two is the weather. So weather is very hot, right? And अभी तो October है तो अच्छा है मैं बाहर बालकनी में खड़ोगे video बना रहा हूँ. Right? Otherwise, if you come in like you know in certain months, then it gets very hot. That's problem two. Point number three is कि आपके जी ये personal preferences होती हैं. So you might like Middle East, you might not like Middle East for wide variety of reasons. Ah, uh, that's your call. So in that respect, you can figure out like other countries that are offering like similar options, right? So for example, if you are getting excited with the prospects of paying lower taxes. then there are a bunch of nations where you could pay lower taxes for example malta mein agar aapka business setup hai and if you are living in portugal then again you can lower your taxes substantially so that's one way now similarly there are other options that you could explore and then figure out which option works best for you so this is to final mein process pe aa jata hu ki like in case you are looking to like you know shift to dubai via a certain process then aapko karna kya chahiye see i mean these days there are like lot of job scams that keep on happening so please do not get entangled into any kind of job scam please do everything legally if you are setting up a business hire a local ca here right hire a local lawyer and then do it 
do not believe what people sitting in like you know some other part of the world are telling you ki hum aapka aise kara denge waise kara denge nahi kara payenge so it's very important to be legally clear so keep these important points in mind do not get entangled into any scams okay so now let me speak about the final point before i end this video which has to do with the fact that what kind of investment options you get here and where the world is heading from a macro point of view actually what is happening in the world is that uh, countries all across the globe are increasing their taxation right uh, this is not just a problem in india this is a problem even in countries like uk agar aap dubai mein ho and if you have met a few people you will get a very clear idea that a lot of people from uk are settling in dubai a lot of indians are settling in dubai taxation could be one reason but this is like a taxation is a general problem across the world second key problem is the lack of investment options right just for example india mein Bond investing has been killed because you know it's a thirty percent almost slab tax rate, right? And now, if you are a wealthy person who is investing money there with clean money, then uh, yeah, the investment options get curtailed, right? This is true. Third is that given the fact how the world is moving, there are so many geographic center problems are happening. There is less peace in the world at this point in time. It's very important to diversify your geographical risk. Even if you are not able to settle in Dubai or take any steps on that bit, definitely think about geographical diversification of your investments. This is absolutely critical, especially given the light, the rate at which INR is depreciating, some other currencies are depreciating. So, ये सब बातें आपको ध्यान में रखनी चाहिए and you need to build some options, right? It might take you like five years, ten years to do it, but start getting activated on that journey. This is very critical. I'll leave you with the final question. For example, जैसे 2024 बजट में the ntcg was increased from 10% on equities to 12.5% ab you know it just looks like a 2.5% change no it's a 25% change it kills your retirement by 25% right because aap equities mein kyun invest karte ho to retire early right so that's possibly one of the reasons why now that has been killed now is there a guarantee that in the next 10 years this will not reach like 40% right so this is the unfortunate part you need to have some backup options and hopefully this video gave you like at least a direction in which you can move this depends on you how you analyze things and take actions thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon